Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, in this episode we are going to get uh, or rather have Larry uh, the Larry's Landscape Service get uh, this area uh, ready for us for our greenhouses. Uh, as you can see I also have um, 10 silage bales that we've created uh, for mowing the grass around this property and our other property across the way there. Um, so a couple things, this, uh, power washer, I, I read up, um, on the mods and I think I misread what it said. It says you can place it anywhere, but it doesn't say you can move it around after you place it. So I guess it's kind of like the, you know, the normal one where once you place it there, that's where it is. But I mean, it's not in a bad spot, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, you know, you know we're just going to keep it there and call it good. Uh, so let's get our baler and our tractor all cleaned off here and our mower. We'll put that stuff away and then we'll grab our bale pickup trailer and run those bales over to who's uh, who's selling what for silage. Yeah, it looks like the biogas plant's not taking them right now. So uh, we'll just take them over to the animal dealer. And, you know, I'm, I know this is the worst time to be selling them, but there's not, <clears throat> excuse me, that much difference in price between, you know, the high and the low. And we're only talking 10 of them. If we had 100, that'd be a whole different story. But I just, you know, unless I put these somewhere in the back 40, I really don't have a place to store them anyway. Uh, so I think we're just going to go sell them and, you know, get a, a little bit of extra cash. Now, uh, also, I found out what the deal is with the our little portable toolbox uh, what you have to do is you have to actually have the latches facing the vehicle that you want to um, that you want to do the repairs and stuff on and then uh, see now it shows up uh, so let's go ahead and repair our tractor for 34 hundred bucks that gets it back in prime condition uh, the baler and the mower are in pretty good shape so I'm not worried about that uh, by the way, if you guys did mention that to me uh, in the comments from the last video, I haven't seen those yet because I'm re recording this uh, actually shortly after I recorded that video. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I uh, love this toolbox, man. And I don't, you know, I don't feel like it's cheaty at all because I had to pay 750 bucks to buy it in the first place, and, and I still have to pay for the repairs. So I guess it would be like, you know, I I guess I called. A mechanic to come out and fix it for me or something like that or maybe I went to you know the the tractor store and bought the parts and fix it myself something to that effect so anyway really cool okay let's uh get rid of you and now we're gonna put the baler away and the mower away and then we're gonna pick up these bales and go sell them before we do the next thing okay so let's get this guy backed into the shop there That should be good there. We don't want to go too far in. The, the tongue on the hitch there will go right down into the pit. All right, let's pop our mower in here. Oh, we need to look at the sales too, see what's on sale. Oop. Just barely fits in here. There we go. Switch over to that, and boom. Let's take a look at the sales really quick. What do we got here? Got a nice combine, but there's no way we can afford that. Uh, this is interesting. It's a flatbed trailer. It's only $10,000. And we could sell our other one for thirteen. Uh, it's a nice flatbed trailer. It's, and it's also, you know, a hauler. The thing I don't like about it though, is it would require a dolly for our tractor, which would make it a big pain in the butt to back up, even though we're kind of in that same situation right now with the, the current trailer. Cause it's essentially has a dolly on the front too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Okay, well, anyway, let's get these bales sold. We'll do that first, and then we'll move on to the next thing. 
Uh, it's July 3rd too, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. I ended up just sleeping um, yesterday on July 2nd, yesterday in game because it was raining and it's like, well, might as well just sleep till the 3rd because there wasn't really a whole lot else to do. And so, yeah, that's what we did. Okay, so we'll pop these guys in. These fields are so small on this property that um, at, at least this one, you know, in particular, I'm not, I don't feel bad about getting rid of it and putting production facilities and animal pins and stuff in its place. Uh, for that field over there, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go get a, a plow or a subsoiler. I'm going to expand it a little bit. And then we're going to plant grass on it. We're gonna, we also It also needs to be fertilized, and we need to pick some stones off of it. So we'll, we'll probably just go lease the stone picker for that. Very good. All right, I'll see you guys at the animal dealer. All right, guys, we are at the animal dealer. Let's go ahead and drop these bales off, make a little bit of money. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get a lot for them, but every little bit helps. I do want to eventually get some sheds, like hay sheds and sheds we can park vehicles and stuff in. Um, but we're probably going to have to... What did we get out of that? Yeah, two, <laughs> 2,276. That was pretty lame. Um, but we're probably going to have to wait until we can buy even more land because there just isn't really any more room on Elm Creek, uh, or Elm Creek Farm, I should say. Or really, for that matter, on our other property or stuff like that. But I think, you know, I think we'll, we won't have any trouble putting three uh, large greenhouses and a small, well, not a small, but the, the first cattle building and the, and the chicken building. When I say building, I mean not the open corrals, but the, the building, actual buildings uh, in that spot that we're going to have Larry fix up for us today. In fact, I think we're going to do that next just because I'm expecting that to cost a fair amount of money and I, I and I want to do get that done first before we do anything else and see you know what kind of money we have left also I got to thinking some more about the greenhouse situation with you know the modded greenhouse that has the fertilizer and the double prediction uh, production rather um, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in I I've decided myself that I wanted to do that and then I think it's reasonable so you know again I'm recording this episode right after the other one, so I haven't seen your guys' comments. But if you guys didn't want me to get those, um, I apologize, but I'm going to because I think uh, I think it is reasonable. And hopefully all of you th think so too. So you know what? Let's do two. Whilst we're here, let's go ahead and wash our bale trailer. Though it doesn't really look like it needs to be washed, which is interesting because I've used this a lot, but it, has, it doesn't have a single speck of dirt on it. That is weird. Does this thing just not get dirty or something? I've never washed this as long as I've owned it that I can think of. Yeah, let's squirt it anyway, just so we can feel good about ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it has like no dirt on it whatsoever. Weird, okay. Well, it's clean now. All right, so let's put this back and then we're gonna have to give Larry a call and have him come on over here. Yeah, is this uh, Larry's Landscaping and New Farmer Cleanup Service? Yeah, Larry, it's me, OG. Why are you not surprised? What is that supposed to mean? Jeez, man. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, in case you haven't um, uh, heard the news, I've purchased the uh, uh, Mama Joe's farm from her. And I was wondering if you could come on out here and uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, landscaping for me. I'm going to change a few things up. What, what do you mean did I check with her first? I don't have to check with her first. It's my farm now. Okay, don't don't be a smart ass, Larry. Just get on over here and do some work for me. All right, we'll see, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. 
Jeez, that guy, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, so let's do some landscaping. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so, we got a nice big gravel area. I decided to, uh, oh, excuse me, Larry decided to <laughs> um, just over uh, paint over the road. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because, um, you know, th this texture that, that, you know, just kind of exists in the game, it, it, it isn't there. Now I know there's more mods that you can get more, uh, you know, more textures. But uh, what's just available with you know what comes with the game, um, there wasn't anything. So I thought it would look better just to make the whole thing gravel. You know, now another thing too, uh, as I'm looking at this, is this isn't like perfectly level here. We might want to do something about that too because it could it could affect our building placement it hmm it seems to be uh like a high spot here and then it kind of dips down back here I don't know if I want to mess with that too much, though, because if I'm not careful, I could really kind of screw stuff up. I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it the way that it is, and if it causes notice, <coughs> excuse me, noticeable problems with the buildings, then we'll uh, we'll deal with it at that time. Okay, cool. So that is finished. All right, next order of business is, um, let's see, this field has weeds, has no fertilization. It's got some rocks that we got to pick up. So we'll go get a rock picker. We'll just lease it. And then um, I'm, I, I want to expand the field too. And I want to expand over here, and I want to expand on the original property. Um, I don't know if I... I, I should probably just leave this alone until we harvest the cotton, just, you know, so I don't screw something up with that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but we could, uh, we could do, you know, one plow's width down this way. It would make things a little bit tight getting in and out of here, though. 
Oops. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, should we do that or should we leave it? Just leave it alone. It's not. It's not going to gain us that much. There's just a lot of space out here. <clears throat> out here that's not really needed. I think if anything, we should expand the field out to, you know, maybe to the edge here. At least do that. Maybe, maybe we'll just leave this here so we have, you know, a little bit of a buffer here. Um, and then I'll have to, I, I don't think I'm going to mess with the cotton field until we harvest the cotton. Okay, so let's head on down to the store and uh get ourselves a rock picker we also need a cedar and we need to fertilize actually we could fertilize now we have a we already have all the stuff we need for that but we can yeah look, we'll do that later let's go get that other stuff first okay so let's see we need to go here Stone picker. Let's just lease the the little guy for twelve seventy five, and we also want to lease a cedar. We'll just get the cheap one. If I find this little little guy on sale, I'm probably just gonna buy it. But it's not that expensive to lease, and it's you know cedar's not something we use. Whoops. Every day, it's you know a couple of times a season kind of thing. It's not like the tractor or the baler that we're using a lot. And let's see, we're gonna need to buy some seed because I don't have any more of that. We used all the rest of our seed to plant our oats, so let's buy a bag of that. I don't need to buy fertilizer. I already have uh, quite a bit of fertilizer still left over from the last um, from the last uh, seeding that we did. I'm not seeding. I'm sorry, contract that we did. Okay, so let's take care of the rocks first. Oh. Let me look at something here. Um, let's see. Plows. I keep hitting that stupid tilde button. Where are the subsoilers? And... Can we actually use subsoilers to make a field? I can't. Maybe we can't actually. Walters plows, cultivators, disc harrows, power harrows, subsoilers. Subsoil prepares fields for the next soil. It can be used instead of a plow. The tool. Yeah, see, I don't think we can use these to create a field. We can just use it to plow an existing field and, and put it into a plowed state. Um, so yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't say anything about preparing field. Now, you know what does prepare a field is a mulcher. Uh, is that a, or no, I'm sorry, not, not a mulcher, a, a forest, a forestry mulcher. This guy, this guy will actually create fields. Force motion can be used to remove tree stumps and bushes. How much would it cost to lease that? Uh, the thing is, is yeah, see, not too much, really. The thing is, is that I um, I'd kind of rather use something that's square, just because we're going to be kind of in a tight spot, and the plow going to make things a little trickier. I mean, we could make it work, but. I guess I need to decide if I'm going to do that now, though, because it's going to create more stones. Hmm. Does it? Does a forestry mulcher actually create a field? I think it does. I'm pretty sure that it does. Um. Okay, hold on. Let me let me look this up real quick before I spend money that I don't want to spend back uh what i did was i actually jumped on my multiplayer server and looked at my forestry mulcher and it does indeed create fields but what it doesn't do is it doesn't create the field in a plowed state so you still have to go along and plow it so then what i did uh was i looked on a uh, mod hub and mod hub has a a uh let's go here a mod uh, called Field Creator, 
which basically turns subsoilers, cultivators, and other things like that into an implement that actually creates a field. In other words, the game will will look at it as a created field. Um, and uh, you know, again, I don't, I don't think that's cheaty because you know, it just, all it's doing is it's putting field to tag on it. And this thing is still going to tear up the ground and, and in real life it would create a field. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and lease this guy. I don't need to buy it because yeah, I don't need to buy it. Um, and, and the nice thing about this, as opposed to the plows it's square, so it's going to allow us to be a little more precise, uh, in terms of where we want the field, uh, borders to actually be. And we're going to go with the three meter one instead of the four meter one. Uh, what's this one? That one's four meters too, just because uh, we have a couple of spots that are a little tighter and I don't want to, you know, get too wide with what we're going to do. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, lease this guy here. And we're not going to pick up stones yet because if we're going to create more fields, uh, you know, we're going to, that's going to create the stones. So we'll have to take care of that first. All right, so let's back up and hitch up to this guy. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get right about here-ish. I'm going to pull forward a little bit because I'm not exactly sure where this starts at. Do we have to, yeah, allow create fields. Okay, cool. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so it is serving the function of a plow. I know I, you wouldn't normally back something like this up, but I'm just trying to get the, there we go, the border set correctly. There we go. Yeah, looks like it's plowing. All right, nifty. Yeah, so let's expand this edge of the field out with this. You know, we might we might go ahead and just do the cotton side too. So I don't have to lease this again. Look at that. That's cool, man. I might even do one one swath down this way too. That's really nice, though, just because, again, you can be very precise with it, unlike the plow. The plow is really difficult to get precise. Uh, i tell you what, though. If we're going to go also do the um, cotton, I'm going to change out my tires on here to my narrow tires using our handy-dandy little toolbox here. So that way, you know, we don't have to worry about messing up our our cotton, you know, at least not from our wheels. Now we are going to have to, of course, be careful with the with the plow or the the subsoiler. I guess that disconnected it. All right. So let's actually start on this end. Okay, we're going to drop it down. I guess we have to set it back to create fields again. And I did it again. Ooh, okay, we're, <laughs> we're right there. Glad we weren't any further back. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that middle section there, which we can do. One more. That's good. Okay, nice. 
I wonder if we could even get away with another one too. The thing is, is I think what will happen is when we hit this grass here, which I couldn't mow, it's not going to let us dig into it. And it's probably going to screw up the corner of our field. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Right, we just have to get this one piece straightened up here. Should be good. I don't want to get too far over. Perfect. Man, that is so much easier to use than a plow. I gotta say. Um, were we gonna? Do I want to do one cut down this way too? We could. It's just that. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I mean, this, this grass doesn't really need to be there, but it it's kind of handy for over here because we got to turn in here to park stuff. Plus, um, doing the curve. You know, let's just leave it alone. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. Let's just leave it the way it is. I don't want to. I don't want to screw up my new farm here. You know. <laughs> okay, we are gonna go one more this way though hopefully that doesn't mess up our corner we could even maybe do two more it's just that again I'm a little concerned about the corner you know what we could maybe do those we could maybe angle this corner because it's when we kind of get right into here that's when it's going to get messed up so I'll tell you what let's do this let's start on this side and back up to here now, can we cut? All the way down into here. It looks like we can. Um, well, can we? Is it just right on the very edge there that it's... Nope, we got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. See the line there? That is where it's going to not let us go any further. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's um Let's do this. We know we can at least do one more without screwing up that corner. I'm trying to keep my wheels as straight as possible. We got off there. I'll fix it. Okay, now here. Easy. Easy does it. I can't see. Here. That doesn't really help a whole lot. Here, I can see better on this side. And one more. There. That corner's a little rounded, but that's actually not a bad thing. Okay, so let's just fix this one spot here. That should be easy peasy. Oh, shoot. All right. I might have to... Call Larry's landscaping service back up to fix that one little divot. I thought I was far enough in, but apparently not. Okay, the rest of that looks good. Yeah, so that expands the field out a little bit. Now, if we want, actually though, okay, let's do this. Um, I'm going to actually save the game in case I royally screw this up so I can <laughs> reload it. Okay, I had to uh, uh, go AFK for a minute there. So what I'm thinking is 
we do like an angle thingy here. So if we're going to do that, let's actually start the cut from back here. We don't have to worry about calling Larry the Landscaper to fix our little divot there. Okay, so I'm thinking right here. Oh, that's... Oh, man, it goes out further than you think it would, huh? Well, you know what? That's all right. We can... Let's just go with this. Okay. So we're just going to go straight down here. Until we get close to the end. And we got off there a little bit. Alright, so let's get to about here. How far is it going to let me go? Okay. It, oh, okay. It stops right there. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. Then I think what we'll do with that is I'll just use the landscaping tool to kind of create an angled corner there so it looks good. Uh, excuse me. No, Larry will. Not me. That's all, Larry. All right, so let's fix these couple of little thingies. And I want to be in a little further this... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, okay. Now we're going to need a landscaping tool for that, too. Crap. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's be in a little further this time when we drop this. I thought I had lifted it up, but apparently not. Okay, we're we good. Yeah, we're good right there. Okay, so that fixes that one. Dad, burn it. Ugh. Okay. And then this, let's get in a little further just to make sure. And that's good. Okay. No, no, no. Don't get too far out. Okay, good. And now let's fix this. Right, I'm going to go in a little further than I think I need to just to be on the safe side. Now let's just back it up a smidge. Just another smidge. It, 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 it. <laughs> There, there we go. Okay, nice. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Gives us a little more field space here. So, we'll just pretend we called Larry up and he came back down to fix our, our boo-boo here. There we go. It's as if it never happened. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. There's another little piece there, though. Hmm. Uh. Well, I might be able to fix that with a paint tool.
How about that, huh? That tire track decal thingy will go away. <clears throat> that doesn't look so bad. That doesn't look so bad. Now, this little spot here... Um, uh, I don't know if we should try and mess with that or not. Here, let's save just in case. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Me and the perfectionist that I am, which isn't a good thing necessarily. What we're going to do is we're going to get here. Uh, let's even get over a little further. Okay, we're going to drop the blade here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I like it. I like it. So that's a nice little field expansion. Still looks good. And uh, now let's just do the same thing over here on this side. And uh, we just have to be really careful, of course, around the cotton plants. We don't have to worry about our tires. And, it, you know, even if I do destroy the first row of plants, it's going to suck, but it isn't the end of the world either. Let's try not to, though. So we're going to start right about here. Now let's pull forward some, too. Perfect. Okay. Now. Can't, oh, no, no, back up. Oh, that was close. I hit the wrong pedal on my thingy here. Oh, that is, okay, that is taking out that plant. Um, the question is, can we get a, a little further over and still plow that up all the way up to the edge of the existing field? Let's see what the deal is with that. Back up. Just, just a smidge. It, it, it. There we go. Okay. Wheel straight, pretty much. That's what we want. Okay, now we just have to really keep these wheels straight here. Yep. Look at that, man. Right on the money. Okay, cool. That's looking pretty good. We still have a, a decently sized driveway here. I mean, we could... Yeah, no, let's not mess with the driveway. Let's leave it the way it is. Okay, now we could cut back this way, but I don't think I'm gonna. Let's not mess with that. Let's just leave it the way it is. Cause thing is, is the you know the landscape starts tapering up the further up we get that way. And I mean, I guess we could do one row up there, and we'd still be fine. And I don't think it would cut into the path, but but then it's not gonna line up though with that side and we decided to leave that alone so yeah let's just leave it alone I don't want to overdo things here um I wouldn't mind fixing that little rounded corner a little better too but okay so the last cut is let's do a cut this way uh, maybe even two because there's just a lot of space here that doesn't really need to be here you know, when we're working the field, we can <clears throat> come at it from from the street. 
And if we need to make a headland, you know, we can just back up and do a couple of passes. So, yeah, I don't think we need that much there. I'm not going to go all the way up to the fence, though. Okay, so let's get lined up here. Cannot see what I'm doing there. I think we got it. All right, nice. That looks good, guys. That looks good. This is definitely a way better tool for doing this kind of work than than a plow is. Uh, you know what? Let's try this little corner one more time too, because why not, right? And yeah, let's say <laughs> let's say first we get it like 99. 0.573% perfect and then then we screw it up. Now it's a perfect corner. Okay. I'm liking it. Might do a little bit of smoothing on that corner there with the landscaping tool, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. Okay, let's go get the rock picker and get all the stones. Uh, that's a little ragged there too, but again, probably not going to worry about that right now. <clears throat> we'll get the rock picker, get all the stones up. We're going to have to be really careful around the cotton with the, the stone, uh, stone picker, rock picker, whatever the heck it's called. And then we will plant some grass. Let's get her done. I totally forgot that I want to do some plowing on the other property too but I'm gonna do that off camera but I don't want to turn this in yet so we're just gonna use this it works so well I'm just gonna go take it over there and drop it off oh we got skinny tires on we can drive over our oats look at that I screwed up my oats right there actually did that a long time ago yeah so just so you guys know my plan is to basically plow this whole area back here because uh, I no longer need it as a staging area now that we have the new property. i got to get that log out of there, too. Um, yeah, but we're just going to plow all of this because why not, right? But I am going to keep a road. Uh, we are going to keep the road up through here and have it turn past this thing and go straight up that way. I don't think I'm going to mess with that though until we're done with the oats because I just don't want to screw up my oats or I don't know I'll see uh, but anyway we've done enough plowing in this episode so the rest of this I'm going to do off camera like I said and so let's drop this off here and I'll come back and do this later yeah that's a nice little tool man really nice For the purpose that we, you know, used it for. Okay, now let's do some stone picking.
All right, let's check the map and see um, what it says about our field here in terms of stones, soil composition. Uh, we have completely cleaned all of the stones off of here. There's a couple uh, real close to the cotton that I just couldn't, you know, safely get to. So we're just going to have to clean those stones off after we harvest the cotton. Looks like there might be one right on the very edge up there. We'll grab that. And then I'm going to take this over to, let's see, we're 25% full. Yeah, there is just one little piece of stone right here. Look at this. Did we get it? Uh, you know what? Maybe it's not letting us pick it up because it's right at the border. There is a little pile of stones there, though. No, nope, not letting us pick it up. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, okay. I was going to say, did I not have that down? Anyway, yeah, we're 25% full on this. I mean, we don't get very much money for these anyways, but um, with the plowing that I'm going to do on the, the original property, I still don't think we'll completely fill this up, and then, you know, we'll take it down to the uh, thingamadoodle. What's, what's it called? The crusher? Oh, you know what? I don't think I can get that over there this way. We're going to have to go around the back way. Because if I, if I run this through the oats, that'll definitely damage them. Um, so what was we, what, what, what was I, what was we saying? What, what was I saying? We'll take it to the crusher. Yeah, we won't get a lot of uh, money for it anyways. I mean, you just don't. But we're gonna, I'm going to hang on to all this stuff anyway, you know, because we've got to do this field over here. We might as well get it done now. And then it's done. I think we're probably pretty much finished with any new field creation on our, our current properties, on our two parcels there. There's not really anywhere else to do it. And then we're just, we'll just use the fields as they are until, well, forever on those properties. Unless I come up with some other harebrained idea and change it again for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so let's load up our grass here. Go into this menu. We want to make sure we are doing grass, which is there. And then press R to refill the cedar. I'll probably spread some fertilizer on this side, but I'm, I'm not probably going to roll it or do anything crazy over here with the cotton. And then once we harvest the cotton, you know, then, then we'll do the whole thing as, as one field. But the other side, we'll do all that stuff. Okay, anyway, um, unfold the cedar. Turn cedar on. Drop it down. And hopefully we don't, we're far enough away from the cotton plants. Yeah, we should be good. Oh, incidentally, the... Why does it say that's fertilized? Oh, maybe because there was grass there. Yeah, this, when you run the rock thingamadoodle picker upper, it, it actually puts the soil into a cultivated state. Which is interesting. There's a little bit along the edge there that, well, yeah, did we get it? Maybe just a smidge right about here that we missed, I think. Should probably be looking for traffic, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go along the cotton here just carefully.
All right, so that field's done. Now we do the big boy. Um, but you know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to let you go here because I think we've gone a little long anyways. It's always hard to tell with these farming videos because I end up doing a lot of editing of stuff. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's fun making the videos. Uh, I, I like to play it better. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun, you know, editing the videos and stuff, too. Uh, anyway, all that to say, I think it's we're going to wrap this up here. So I'm just going to finish out this. And let me tell you what's going to happen here. So I'm going to finish out seeding this field. Um, and then we're going to lime it and roll it. And I'll go ahead and lime um, that, too. But I don't think I'm going to roll it. I just don't want to take a chance of screwing up my uh, cotton. I have plenty of fertilizer in here from the contract, so we don't need to buy any fertilizer. And then uh, this says there's weeds too. So if that's still a problem, if we start to see the weeds crop up, we'll have to spray. Um, so I'll worry about that later. And then for over here uh, or over across the way, I'm just going to plow up that field and pretty much do all of the same thing. So it has uh, grass planted too when it's all said and done. So that is the plan. Now, um, what I am tentatively planning on doing in the next episode we, we have $105,000 the next episode will be August 1st so I'm probably going to spend August 1st doing more contracts uh, because we just make a ton of money doing that at this point point. and then um, on August 2nd well actually maybe on August 1st maybe before we do the contracts we'll get our greenhouses set up and um so that way they can start producing for us. And then, you know, that way, you know, I can I can be working on the contracts while the greenhouses are producing. So, yeah, I think that's the plan. Next episode, greenhouses, baby. That's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.